Well, hold on to your hats, folks. This is Saber, very different to what we've just seen in the men's epi. Uh, just a very brief explanation, Claire, how the, the difference is. Yeah, sure. So Sabre, uh, the target area is from the hip upwards. Um, so the arms and the mask is also target area. In Sabre, you can hit with the point, but also the flat of the weapon. It's a cavalier's weapon. And it goes way back when, where they're all fencing, uh, they're all on horseback, you know, when they used to fight each other. And out of honour, you wouldn't want to injure your opponent's horse. So the target area would always be from the hip upwards, because you don't want to... You didn't want to um, injure the horse, so that's that's the reason for their target area, which is quite nice. It's always steeped in history of fencing. So we're more likely to see that slashing motion rather than just the lunging motion we've seen in the epi because of yeah, the, the size exactly. of Yeah, exactly. You do you do get a lot of like um, you know points uh, hits as well, but also a lot of cutting hits. It's already two all. Yeah, attack is uh, parried, repost from the right. That's 3-2. I think you may have to delve in ever so slightly to the right of way as well, which is something that happens in, in Sabre and, and Foil as well. Yeah, of course. In, in Foil and Sabre, with the right of way, the, the phrase must be continuous. So the point must always be continually threatening the target and must start first. Um, so that that's really what is, is right of way. Yeah, the referees will, will see here play a much more important role, I suppose, than they do in, in epi that we've just seen. Yeah, I mean, um, so with your right away, you must never break an attack or bend your arm. Um, it's it's really important to continuously be be putting your point forward and uh, to be seen to be attacking as well. It's it's very difficult in Sabre to, I'd say, to move out of the way, um, make your opponent fall short, and then attack again. You've really got to be on your toes. A very fast attack there from Lee. Levels up the scores at 4-all. Lee putting pressure on there. That's a direct hit from the right. was beautiful. There's a tick-tocking of blades there. She got the final beat and uh, hit her to make it 5-5. Five five. In uh, Sabre, you really have to have lightning uh, reactions and be lightning quick. Look at that. Fantastic. Lunge all the way through the middle. That's a flying attack there on the right. Oh. Jennifer striking right back with almost the exact same move. Yeah, what a fantastic riposte. She's saying, you know what? I'm going to give it back. No! So just explain that for us. Obviously, we see both lights coming on there. Yeah, of course. Cool. So um, basically, she just started first. We talk about the right away, and you know, the referee just saw it, could see that she started first. Even it, you know, we're talking about milliseconds starting first, and that, that's what the referee has to look out for in Sabre. Well, that's the break in the fight with uh, Jennifer Sancroft having reached eight points. So they still get their minute-long break, but it's not in uh, the same way as um, periods as, as we've seen in the other in the other fights. Because I presume because Sabre's just so quick. Yeah, it's so quick. You, you really don't need to. They don't need to do the three-minute period. So, yeah, they always break at eight, um, and they still get their their minute break. Um, So it really is. I mean, you can tell it's such a fast-paced sport. And you, weapon. you really need these slow-mo replays, don't you, to, to, to yeah, see exactly what's just happening? To, just to decipher exactly what's going on, and, and it is it is tough for the referees as well because you can't always see what's happening. I mean, we're only human. You know, humans make mistakes, of course. So it can be sometimes frustrating for offensive if they can't see. Um, you know, if they if, if they know that the hit's theirs and the referee's got it wrong, and of course uh, we don't have video replays here today. So fencings are rely uh, fences are relying entirely on the referees. So about to get on back underway here. Jennifer Sancroft just with a really slender two-point lead. It's not quite as safe a cushion as it might be 
an AP, for example. Such is the speed of this fight. Yeah, that was lovely. The attack just fell short from the left there. And the Singapore girl managed to take up the right away. This time she just got blocked out in her preparation. That makes it 9 7. There's um, a lot of togethers I've noticed in, in Sabre fencing because, you know, fences just start, just appear to start at exactly the same time. As soon as the referee says go, um, generally speaking, uh, fences go. Uh, which isn't always the case in in Ape or Fall. Crowd getting a bit more vocal now, urging on the uh, Scottish fighter. Fantastic hit there. Clearly the attack was coming from the left. To make it 10-8. This um, this again is going to be quite an important part of the fight, I think. Really, it's going to be down to who's who can hold their nerve, who can get the lot, a few hits in the lead and, and finish off this fight. Again, attack all the way from the left. Very clear, very easy for the referee to see. Yes, yeah, so a three-point gap now that Jennifer Sancroft has opened up. I just wonder if she's maybe getting a little cagey, though. Oh, backing off perhaps a little more than she has been. Oh, yes. She just... Let herself, uh, you know, be dominated by her opponent there. Just slight hesitation, any doubt or hesitation in Sabre fencing, and uh, that's it. You've really got to be on the ball. She just fell short. She attacked, fell short of her opponent, got her with the uh, with a counter with Poss there. She is the slightly taller fighter. She'd expect her reach to be of benefit, but she's just being caught out. I think perhaps the speed of, of Anne Lee is, is catching her out a little. Yeah, this is where fencing is can be such a tactical and psychological and emotional game and you really have to have a very solid head. Look at this. She's just reeled off. What's that? Four points in a row. Uh, taking the lead now. 12-11 to Anne Lee from Singapore. Yeah, Lee's just stayed very cool-headed, very calm and collected. That's a tack together. The referee's not going to separate that. Yep, here we go. The referee is... Uh, a yellow card there for Jennifer Sancroft. Yeah, because, you know, Sabre fencing is, is so quick. So she just had a false start there. She started just before the referee said go. So you do get... It's a cardable offence. But no immediate punishment with a yellow card. It's whether they get a second one. Is that That's right? correct, yeah. So two yellows means a red, and that means a hit against you. Just one more point needed now for Lee from Singapore. hit to finish that clean cut parry post absolute great mental strength there to come back and then take it right at the last in the last uh, the last sort of 30 seconds to a minute of the fight really was great to watch so that's Ali through to the finals then of the women's sabre competition Jennifer Sankoff narrowly missing out that was all a bit tense, wasn't it? It's the nature of Sabre, I suppose. It was. It changed so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's what I love about Sabre, is that it's never, never over until the very last hit. So you've always got to have your head in the game. Well, you need your head in the game for all three weapons, really. But because Sabre's so fast-paced, it can turn around just like that, just as quick, uh, quickly as, as, it, as it started. So, um, you know, what a, what a fantastic, exciting match. I really enjoyed that. Do you think it was a change in tactics there? We're just seeing uh, Jennifer Sancroft sort of backing off as Anne Lee started to get back into the into the fight. And I just wonder if, as you say, mentally, she just decided, oh, oh, I've got a lead here, I'm going to try and protect that, which is going to be a dangerous game in Sabre. Yeah, you know, it might be that she just might have taken her foot off the gas. She, you could definitely tell there was slight doubt and hesitation um, when she got two hits against her. And, she just started to kind of lose her her dominant uh, her dominant streak. We got we see here. Uh, this is the match point coming up? A video replay. Yep. So here we go. And look at that! Absolutely fantastic clean cut parry post. There's no uh, no getting behind that one. 